Please be brief. I will. Uh, obviously, you know that I'm a heterosexual male because you just saw my wife. To give you a little context, we've lived in Boise, Idaho for 35 years. We have two children who live in Boise, Idaho. They're spouses. Um, and we do support Add the Words. And I think that there's been a lot of testimony uh, which to me sounds a lot like the fear that people tried to use to keep the original human rights and civil rights legislation from coming to pass. And I'd like to talk about that for a minute. I've heard a lot of people say, oh, it's going to cost jobs. And I go, well, gee, the Chamber of Commerce says that it will increase jobs. Also, I was a, ma a high-level manager at HP for 30 years. I had 200 engineers working for me. I hired the kind of people you want to come to Boise, the people who have high-paying jobs and pay a lot of taxes. And I can tell you, it was hard. And why was it hard? Because when I would talk to engineers who wanted to work for HP, what I would hear from them when I would get, I would be telling them about Boise and about the low crime and the low housing prices and the great skiing. And you know what they would do? They would say, you know, I really want to work at HP, but not in Idaho. Their perception of Idaho was that we were intolerant and backward. And I hate to tell you that, but that's what I encountered. It was hard. These people, when I talk to them, we want to work for HP, but you know, can you talk to the people in Colorado or Washington or Oregon or California about me? I don't want to come to Idaho. And by the way, these were the heterosexual people. These, these weren't the kind of, you know, these weren't gay people. These were heterosexual people. And when I'd say, well, you know, this is a great, no. I have gay friends. I want to be able to invite them to come to Idaho. I have gay relatives. I want them to be able to come to Idaho. So it's, it's hard. Jobs will be increased by passing add the words. I also wanted to, you know, I, I think this is a bipartisan view. I don't think that this is a Republican or, or a Democratic bill. I think add the words is about civil rights. I don't think that Democrats or Republicans pass the human rights bills. I think that courageous legislatures ignored the fear that, is, that people try and use to keep you from adopting laws like this. I hear that this is anti-religion. And I go, I hear lots of priests coming up and telling you, no, this isn't anti-religion. Christians don't believe this, and I don't believe this. I'm a Christian, I'm a Catholic, and I don't believe that this is anti-religion. I believe, and in fact, I believe the LDS Church came out today and said that they're in favor of uh, legislation like Add the Words, not only in Salt Lake City, but in state legislatures. This is a bipartisan thing. I don't think anyone would suggest that, you know, the LDS Church is a liberal organization. This is a bipartisan thing. This is civil rights. You know, we talk a lot about cakes. You know, we wouldn't let somebody not bake a cake for a Muslim wedding or a Jewish wedding or a black and white person getting married. No, you can't just bake cakes for people you like. You have to bake cakes for everyone. You know, all of these things that people are saying, they're just trying to use fear to make you not recognize that this is civil rights. There are people, and you've heard the testimony. Some of the testimony makes me cry. I listen to this and I'm touched. It, it's not me being you know, persecuted and discriminated against. But when I hear some of these stories, my heart is broken. And I can't believe that we don't want to protect these people the same way we protected other minority groups. And that's what I want to ask you today, is I want you to be courageous, just like the legislators that passed the original Human Rights Bill. Be creative, be courageous, stand up, add the words. Any questions?
Sir, I think that uh, there's need to be something clarified about the position of the LDS Church. Uh, since you brought that up, it might be a clarification that might be helpful for anyone else testifying. Uh, they did, made no mention of, of anything that had to do with laws such as this. And they were explicit in their statement that said they, they want to see things like um, uh, happened in Salt Lake City, possibly, which has very little to do with this bill. But at the same time, they put this caveat on while ensuring that religious freedom is not compromised. So be careful when you talk about the position of the LDS Church is not is not directly involved with this piece of legislation in any way. I apologize if I inferred that it was, Mr. Chairman, but when I read it, it did sound like they wanted to protect gay rights. With r religious liberty, uh, freedom also, uh, making sure that that is not compromised. Uh, I could read the entire statement, the, the, the five points, if, if, uh, if anyone would like to hear those. But in, in respect of time, I'll, I'll refrain from doing that unless this comes up again. But the position of the LDS Church has not changed, and they were pretty explicit about that. Are there questions? Thank you.